वेलकम टू द ग्रेट वाइट शार्क कैपिटल ऑफ द वर्ल्ड we are in hans bay and it's a new day in south africa we have come here for shark cage diving so as you can see i'm already wearing my life jacket and we are going to take you along on our adventure for today hopefully we'll see some sharks and get up close and personal with them we had breakfast a brief overviewing about today's experience and uh, some very interesting information about uh, white sharks and uh, the viewing opportunities that we might have today yeah it's going to be about 1.5 to 1.8 meters so quite smooth and easy um for the sharks today so i'm sure if you guys follow our blogs you'll understand that we are all having a little bit of a slow queue if a white shark is caught just for its fins that shark would be worth somewhere around 100 dollars on both sides of the cage so everyone can enjoy the shark experience and the method we use to attract the sharks to slash them is by using chum a mixture of fish oils or fish byproducts with the shark's attention sharks are incredibly powerful that's why the only rule on slash fin is that when you're in the cage please stay there please don't stick any hands legs heads and butts out of the cage when the sharks are around Remember this is the wild ocean and unfortunately we cannot control the weather or the behavior of the sharks. We are dealing with wild life and sightings are not guaranteed. Now we are going to go to our boat and the name of our boat is Apex. Uh, Apex. Uh, so we are going to go on the Apex boat and obviously because it's complete wildlife they cannot guarantee animal sighting uh, but obviously they're going to try and give us the best viewing experience. and the time right now is around uh, 7:45 am hopefully it won't be that cold we were told that the temperature uh, of the sea is around 13 degrees which is cold but hame wet suits milenge so it should be fine Shark Alley, and that's where National Geographic, BBC Earth, Discovery, they all film like shark week there to watch the great white shark from the seal. So if there is time, we do like to go there, but I can't make any promises because it does depend on the time. So we have really great shark fighting today. We probably won't just purely because we want to stay with the shark. Yeah, intuition. Just wanna follow intuition. All my senses tell me I know what you've been thinking. So we are off, and uh, we are gonna go and hopefully spot some white sharks. The last sighting of white sharks was around uh, 15 days, 20 days, 20 days back, and we are hoping that today is a lucky day. Two orcas hunted. Uh, sharks out here and that's why a lot of the sharks went back because they were scared as uh, orcas are uh, predators for them right now the water is obviously cold and the sharks prefer warmer waters so they move towards the eastern side when the water here gets really cold they go up to mozambique and the farthest uh, uh, movement that uh, these people have uh, uh, that these people know of is uh, all the way till australia which was what 20000 kilometers 22000 kilometers round trip uh, but yeah it's quite windy up here we have a life jacket and they'll give us our wet suit so hopefully it should be okay and luckily the sun is uh, uh, directly pointing at us so it's still a little okay the sea is comparatively calmer today it's not very rough 
and nothing should happen nothing bad should happen so <laughs> let's see what if we got up left this party cuz i can see you probably come be scrolling feeds all night long your friends are drunk and the dj keeps playing the same songs and time is it moving all along so what it be cool to say cage in which we are going to go in when the sharks arrive there's enough space for us to pull ourselves up and uh, breathe come up for water and then we have to keep uh, listening to what the guides tell us they'll tell us from which direction the sharks are coming and accordingly we can go down and look in that direction we'll have to like hold our breath for uh, uh some time for a few seconds then go down look at the sharks and then come back up again any fish to chum our water it's all byproducts so salmon heads and the salmon carcasses and then what we hope will happen is that the current will take the scent of the salmon out and the sharks will smell it and come to investigate you'll notice there's not a lot of meat on our bait because we don't try to feed the sharks we don't want to associate the humans with food in their minds we're just trying to make them curious enough to lure them to the cage for you guys to see keep an eye out watch the bait lines and then Shout if you see a shark. <laughs> awesome. Which types of sharks do we expect? Hopefully, bronze whaler. Bronze whaler shark, also known as copper copper sharks, narrow tooth sharks, maybe a seven gill shark, which are really really cute. They look like they have these little grins on their face the entire time. Um, great white. Hopefully, we're all waiting for that. So we have changed into our wetsuit and the chum has been put in water and now we are waiting for the sharks to arrive We are waiting for the sharks to arrive it's been like 10 minutes since we have put on our wetsuits and the chum has been thrown in the water but Till now, no sighting of the shark. So apparently, the current it uh, carries the scent of the chums to the sharks, and then they'll make their way here. But right now, all these seagulls are eating the food. Unfortunately, we did not spot any sharks. Obviously, not the great white sharks, and neither the copper sharks. Uh, people have been going inside the cage just to get a feel of the cold water. We are not going inside, but yeah, we are disappointed. We waited for like more than an hour, like one one and a half hours, but there was absolutely no sighting. We did see whales, and obviously these uh, noisy birds. these noisy seagulls that ate all the chum that was meant for the sharks uh we saw a seal and we saw um a whale a southern right whale in the distance we are leaving this place unfortunately <laughs> no shark sighting it's been a quiet day like they were saying and now we are going to go to this island uh dire island dire island where we are going to see seals hopefully we have had really great luck with land animals at kruger but we have not been having the best luck with the aquatic aquatic animals we didn't see dolphins yesterday at point road and now today no shark sighting as well hopefully we we'll, we did see seals at the roberg nature reserve uh but that was from a 
very far away distance. Hopefully, we'll see the seals today again. Maybe some penguins. They said 1,000 breeding pairs left on this island. Our African penguin is endangered, and they do expect them to be extinct by 2030, which is insanely sad. For 500 rand, you guys can own land on this island. You can own a little house, a penguin house. The only thing is, you will never be able to live in it. <laughs> Cheapest real estate, guys, ever. We are on this Giza rock island and there are so many seals on this island. Apparently there are like more than 60,000 and they are all like either chilling on the rocks or swimming and rolling in the water. There are just so, so many seals. Some of them are so huge. Some are like baby seals but some are like very huge. Intuition, just wanna follow into it.